subscribe to the Defenstar channel and press the bell icon to get notified of our latest videos. Today we will compare two modern fighter aircrafts. Tejas Mark I developed by India's Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, and FA-50 Golden Eagle developed by America's Lockheed Martin and Korean Aerospace Industries of South Korea. First, let's check out the similarities between them. Both Tejas and FA-50 are lightweight fighters with empty weight less than 7,000 kg. Both are supersonic all-weather multi-role fighters. Both aircrafts are powered by different versions of General Electric F-404 after-burning turbofan engines. Both fighters are equipped with the same Israeli ELM-2032 Pulse Doppler radar. Both features digital fly-by-wire flight control system. Both fighters are equipped with glass cockpit with hands-on throttle and stick or HOTAS controls. Now, let's compare their general specifications, in terms of unit price. Tejas is $6 million cheaper than FA-50. Tejas also has better maximum speed, payload carrying capacity, better service ceiling, G-tolerance and one more hard point than the FA-50. Tejas has crucial aerial refueling capability to further extend its range while the FA-50 lacks it. Tejas also features helmet-mounted system which gives it high off-bore side shoot capability, which is not available in FA-50. Tejas offers beyond visual range combat capability while FA-50 aims to have it in Block 20 upgrade. Tejas is already equipped with Israeli targeting pod which gives it precision strike capability, FA-50 lacks this capability at present but aims to have it in Block 10 upgrade. Tejas features modern 4-channel flight control system while FA-50 features comparatively outdated 3-channel flight control system. Tejas thanks to its 8-hour endurance with aerial refueling can perform long-duration missions while FA-50 with its 3-hour endurance is only good for short-duration missions. Tejas has zoom climb capability with better thrust-to-weight ratio and lower wing loading which makes Tejas a better dogfighter than the FA-50. Finally, Tejas has excellent zero-accident record while the FA-50, D-50 family has suffered 5 accidents in total, from this detailed comparison. We can conclude that Tejas is a better fighter overall compared to the FA-50. Tejas offers better performance at lower cost compared to FA-50. Tejas has more advanced avionics and sensors which makes it BVR capable and relevant in modern air combat scenario. While both fighters uses same Israeli radar, Quartz radar cone of Tejas gives it much better radar range to track and engage enemy fighters. Despite being a lightweight fighter, Aerial refueling capability gives Tejas long legs and impressive endurance to perform long-duration sorties. Tejas is more maneuverable and has lower radar cross-section thanks to radar absorbent coatings and high usage of carbon composites. In terms of future readiness, Tejas will become deadlier with BrahMos NG and ASA radar integration, but there are no plans yet to equip FA-50 with such capabilities. While Tejas has full backing from India and ambitious upgrades ahead, FA-50 has very limited growth potential as Korea only wants it as a second-tier fighter with limited capability. All these factors make Tejas a deadlier and more advanced fighter than the FA-50. Hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching.